Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for subscribing to me. Um, I post content at least twice a week on Monday and then either on Wednesday or Thursday, whichever day. Um, so as you can see by the title today, I'm going to be talking about having my own place at 18. Um, in reality, every teenager is like, Oh, I can't, like I'm 20 now. I'm 20 now, so I've, I've lived by myself for like two years. But um, every teenager is like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my own place because blah, blah blah. I'm tired of living with my parents. I mean, I'm not gonna say like it's bad when you move by yourself, but there is like ups and downs with it, if you know what I mean. Like for me, um, I was excited because like I I liked living with my mom. But, like, you know how every parent nags and stuff. So, I was like, I'm excited to not hear my mom nagging all the time or yelling at me or yelling at my brothers or whatever. But, in reality, when those bills hit you, you're like, <laughs> like, obviously, you have to have a job to be able to move out on your own. Or, or like, if you're going to be, yeah, if you're going to move out on your own, you have to have a job, obviously. So, I had a job. Well, I still have a job. But, I had a job when I first moved out. Um, I was getting paid okay, but like when I got my apartment, like it didn't seem that bad like at first. Okay, so my rent was six hundred. It was six hundred then, and then I had a phone bill that was around fifty dollars, and then I also had to pay my Wi-Fi sixty dollars, and then my electric. So you everybody knows like the power bill, electric, whatever. It varies for how much you use it. So like around then. I was only paying like fucking, I was only paying like, um, $40. Because I wouldn't really like have my lights on. I would use like the light from outside. And then I would like, I moved in during March. So it was towards the end of the winter. So I didn't even like have like a really high bill because I didn't use heat really. I used AC. So like it was okay then. And then like even in the winter, my first winter, it was even that bad. It went up to like $100. But that's $700 right there. But my job where I worked, I get paid weekly. So it was kind of like, it was okay. Plus, I had to pay for like food. But for me, I live on my, I lived on my own. So like, I only bought food that I would like. And I wouldn't like overbuy food to where it would like sit in my freezer to too long and like go bad you know but then I also had to buy food for when my friends came over because like yeah I wouldn't buy extra freezer food but I'd buy like extra snacks extra drinks extra everything else because like whenever my friends would come over I didn't want them to like have no food you know like oh that's for me for like I have one drink I have like a Powerade for every day of the week you can't have one you know what I'm saying it's for work like so it was okay then, but some things that really got to me, like, I realized, like, okay, it's like, like, I was saying, like, when you say, oh, I want to move out, and blah, 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 one thing that got me was, like, the furniture, because at first, I was like, oh, furniture shouldn't cost that much, you know, like, I didn't think it would cost that much, right, and... I knew it would, like, I, I did save up before I moved out. I saved at least, like, $2,000. But then also, like, I had to put a down payment, and then I had to put down um, first month of rent. So that's $600, and I think the down payment was, like, $250 something. So that was, like, $700 something, $750. So then I still had to pay for furniture, right? And where I went, you can pay full price or you can pay, like, payments. So I did, like, most of it. I paid most of it. And I did payments. But, like, furniture is expensive. I didn't get no fancy. This is the same furniture. I've had this furniture for, like, going on two years. And it's the same one. It's actually nice. It's still, like, squishy. The only thing, the only problem that I have with it is because um my apartment flooded twice due to this apartment complex because, yeah. But it flooded twice from the, cause I live on a, the ground level and the apartment above me flooded twice. So like it came down into my apartment. 
So like my, this is the, my smaller couch. Like, I don't know how you say it, love sofa or whatever. But, um, my, my big couch is like kind of like ruined because the boards on the bottom like broke. So like when you sit down, you can hear it. But, um, in reality, it is hard to have your own place when you turn 18 like everybody's like when I turn 18 I want to get my own place when I turn 18 I'm gonna have this this and that and you you know how you see all those pictures like um of people saying like oh this is gonna be in my cabinet when I get when I have my own place like I want to insert a picture in the next clip of what I'm talking about yeah no you're not gonna have all that in your house you are not gonna have all that food in your house for one, most of that's going to be bad before you even finish it if you're living by yourself. And then for another, food is expensive. That's another thing that I didn't realize. Food is expensive. Like, especially like, so I don't eat like chicken and stuff, but like ground beef is expensive. By the pound, it's like 4 or $5 for one pound of ground beef. Like, it's expensive. And like... Pizzas, honestly, I used to think pizzas were cheap, but they're not. Like, they're really not cheap. Like, food is expensive. That's another thing I didn't realize is, like, groceries, grocery shopping is expensive. Like, I went last week, and I didn't really get anything. I just wanted to get, like, drinks and stuff because I already had, like, pizzas and meat and stuff to make tacos and all that stuff. But I just wanted to get drinks and stuff and some snacks, and I spent, like, $50 on snacks. And I didn't even get, I feel like I didn't even get a lot of snacks. Like, I feel like I get enough to last me for the, throughout the week. So, yeah, that's another thing that I didn't realize is, um, groceries. That's really expensive. And then not including, like, yeah, you have your own house, but you have your own apartment or whatever. But, like, what if you want to go out, you know? Like, when we're, like, young, we don't, like, we think about just having our own place to do whatever we want. But we don't think about, like, all the bills. If you have a car, the gas, all this other stuff that you're going to have to do. So, like, half the time, for me, like, half the time, I'd be wanting to do stuff, but I'd be sitting at home. Like, yeah, I have Netflix, I have all this other stuff, but, like, in reality, your friends don't want to come over. Like, my friends, they don't come over and, like, want to just chill. Like, sit here and watch Netflix or, like, sit here and watch, like, TV or whatever, lay back, whatever. No, everybody always wants to go out of their house and, like, do something. But, like, when you're living on your own and paying your own bills and everything, like, in reality, it's harder. Like, it's harder than just living with your mom and having money and be like, oh, let's go to let's go to Victoria's Secret and spend money on this. And let's go to Bath and Body Works and buy a whole bunch of perfumes and stuff. Like, yeah, I still have a lot of perfumes and stuff. But, like, I can't just go out if I want to and just be like, oh, I'm going to go buy this. I'm going to go buy this. I'm going to buy this just because I can because I have the money. You know what I mean? Like, when you get your own place, it's it's harder. It's really, really hard. And, like... And then another thing is, like, for me, it's boring for me to, like, live by myself. I don't like living by myself. Um, I mean, it's not that boring because it's, like, relaxing kind of sometimes. But, like, for me, like, like what if I want to do something, but I don't have money. But I, I don't know. Like, for me, I feel like it would be better if I had, like, a roommate. Because everything would be cheaper. You guys would split rent. You guys would um, split, like, every little thing. Other than, like, if the internet, like, hey, I pay for the internet, you pay for the water or whatever, electric or whatever. But, honestly, I feel like it would be better to have um, a roommate. But, like, guys, it I don't know if you realize this, how many times I've said this, but it is so much harder having your own place. When you turn 18, everybody wants to move out when they turn 18 when they graduate, then they say they're, when we say we're grown, I mean, we grown, but like, we're not really, really grown. Like that's when we, reality hits you and you're like, dang, all these bills, I gotta pay what? I'm gonna be broke for a good week. Oh yeah, don't mind my glasses, they broke and I had to put tape because I did not want to put my contacts in. But yeah, like, 
<laughs> we, you don't realize that. But, um, yeah, if you got to the end of this video, thank you guys for watching. I know I talk a lot, um, but I really, really wanted to make this video because some people don't realize how much it actually costs and, like, like my apartment complex, this was like the cheapest place that I found. Like, I wasn't looking, I was, okay, I was like, no, there was a cheaper place. But like, I was looking for a good place that's in a nice neighborhood that doesn't have a lot of crime in the area. Um, it looks decent and it's a decent in size, you know, like, if you guys want, I can do a, like a house tour or whatever. I'm not going to show the outside where I live, obviously, but I can show you guys the inside of my apartment. But, um, I want, yeah, I wanted all that. So like. Yeah. Um, if you got to the end of this video, thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.